Hello viewers, how are you all? Welcome to our channel Trade Empire. Today in this video, I will explain about the double RSI trading strategy. It will be very helpful to buy or sell the stock during the pullback in high trending market. But before going ahead in this video, if you are new to our channel then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you can keep getting these types of very informative videos regularly. Now let us understand today's topic. Some of you have questioned that what is RSI and how and when it is used. So first we understand about RSI. The full form of RSI is Relative Strength Index. RSI is a price momentum indicator, it indicates the momentum of stock during the day. RSI keep oscillating between the value of 0 to 100, it also indicates the oversold and overbought levels. Generally, when the RSI goes below the 30 level, it is called that the stock is oversold, and now there are chances for the reversal, and from now the price of the stock may go into the upward direction. Similarly, when the RSI goes above the 70 level, it is called that the stock is overbought, and now there are chances for the reversal, and from now the price of the stock may go into the downward direction. But, the price don't respect these overbought and oversold levels every times. What I am saying is that, during uptrend the price can continue overbought level for long time. Similarly, in downtrend the price can continue oversold level for long time. Thus, only with the help of this oversold and overbought logic, we cannot trade every time. Then, what the other way is? The solution is to use double RSI. So, we will use second RSI for the proper judgment for the trend of the market. For the precise judgment of the trend, RSI should be used on high time frame. So, we will change the setting of second RSI. Our main time frame for the stock is 15 minutes, but we will take the daily time frame for our second RSI. We can change it from RSI setting. We will also change overbought level as 55 instead of 70 and oversold level as 45 instead of 30. Thus, when our second RSI remain above the 55 level, we will understand that the price is in uptrend. Similarly, when our second RSI remain below the 45 level, we will understand that the price is in downtrend. You can see our both RSI in the chart. This RSI will be used for the judgment of the trend, and we will call it daily RSI. And this is our regular RSI, which is on current time frame, it will be called as the current RSI. Till here, you understood the setup of our two different RSI. Now the question is how to make trade with the help of these. So, now let us understand our trade conditions. For by setup, here are the conditions. Condition number one, the daily RSI should be above the 55 level for the indication of the uptrend. Condition number two, we will look for buy when our current RSI is below 30 level, it gives the chances to enter for high uptrend. Condition number three, enter when current RSI cross over the 30 level. Thus we will make our buy entry when RSI cross over the 30 level after making reversal in oversold area. Let us take an example for the buy setup. First, find the trend of the stock. Here, our daily RSI is above the 55 level, so the stock is in uptrend. Now find at which point, our current RSI goes below the 30 level. At this point, the current RSI is going below the 30 level. Now wait till the RSI make reversal and cross over the 30 level. As you can see here, the current RSI cross over the 30 level after making reversal. So, we will buy at this candle, our stop loss should be previous swing low, and our target should follow our 2 as to 1 risk reward ratio. As you can see, we have achieved good after our entry. Now let us understand the conditions for the sell setup. For sell setup, condition number 1, our daily RSI should be below the 45 level for the indication of the downtrend. Condition number two, we will look for sell when our current RSI is above the 70 level, thus this gives the chances to enter high downtrend. 
Condition number 3, enter when the current RSI crossover 70 level, thus we will make our sell entry, when the RSI crossover the 70 level after making reversal in overbought area. Let us see an example for the sell setup. As you can see in the chart, our daily RSI is below the 45 level, thus it indicates the downtrend. Now find at which point, the current RSI goes above the 70 level. At this point our current RSI is going above the 70 level. Now wait till the current RSI make reversal in overbought area. As you can see here, the current RSI cross over the 70 level after making reversal in overbought area. So, we will sell over here, our stop loss should be at recent swing high, and our target should follow our 2 as to 1 risk reward ratio. That's was all. Remember my friends, with this strategy, you will not earn profit on every trade, but you may get some extra perfection of the market. With this strategy, we trade in high trading zone, so you will require high risk management while applying these kinds of strategy. Give high attention to your risk management. So, if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you cannot miss our upcoming video. Take care of yourself.